compression ratio engine. Quote, this is a unique new concept which requires a minimum of technology and promises to revolutionize the motor industry. So said Ron Hacking, Diploma of Advanced Engineering at the Natal Technicon. And it is true. That is not only his view, but those of many other authorities, including Cambridge University, the Rolls-Royce Development Engineer, and others. But see for yourself. The concept applies to all internal combustion engines, most of which can be modified to operate as a VCR unit. In this form, it can be described as a double, supercharged, non-polluting, two-stroke engine with internal cooling and fitted with a floating piston. Note the size and simplicity of this layout. This is based on a simple four-cylinder engine. What led to this design is the heat balance of internal combustion engines, where up to 90% of the energy of the fuel is taken up by the radiator and the exhaust. By rearranging the duties of the various engine components and adding the VCR piston, a considerable amount of the wasted heat is put to work. We are talking about a 50% saving in fuel and pollution, far greater torque and power from smaller, simpler engines. Compare these engines. This latest BMW 6-cylinder 3-litre engine with double turbochargers and 24 valves. This is about the upper limit that can be expected from such a 6-cylinder engine. This is a VCR engine, only four poppet valves with the two center cylinders doing the work. This will be achieved in standard form. In performance engines, it could be doubled. As for fuels, the separation of the two working cylinders by the VCR piston while in a seated position means different ingredients can be fed into each cylinder. These will mix together at the top of the stroke when the VCR piston is lifted off its seat. At low speeds, no fuel will be fed into the secondary cylinder, only air, so it will use less fuel than a 1 litre engine, and of course, there would be less pollution. For extra power, additional fuels can be added. These fuels need not be petrol. They can be paraffin, alcohol, gas or vegetable oils, with even water added to keep down excessive temperatures. Just this one test speaks for itself. Look at the heat loss savings. Also, at 5,000 revs per minute, our Technicon recorded an air-to-fuel ratio of 20 to 1. Our prototype ran comfortably at 10,000 revs per minute. This was a simple two-stroke twin-cylinder outboard motor without the separate pumping cylinders and without any cooling. All this with the same engine components but rearranged with an added VCR piston which reduces the heat losses in normal arrangements. We are positive there will be many people and companies that would be excited to be involved in the development and marketing of these engines, shouldn't you be one of them. More information can be seen by moving on to the 